Welcome to my channel. It's me, Emily. If you're new around here, now you know. And you guys are just in time because we're kicking off Easter content. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Easter is just a few weeks away. What is it? It's like less than 40. You know what? Easter's a couple weeks away, so it's time to get our Easter on. As I'm rolling through the craft project for today, a couple things to remember, you guys. Like and subscribe because I'm super fun and you need me in your life. Also, if there's anything that I happen to be crafting with, balloon holders, my super awesome glue gun. By the way, you guys, this glue gun, amazing. If you need a glue gun in your life, this is the one. I can do like a how-to video at some point, but that's for a later date. Today, we're gonna do Easter stuff. All of my supplies are linked below. Watch the video, click away, be inspired. Let's get on with it. This, my friends, is a balloon holder. And this is ribbon. You know what, here's, here's a reminder for you guys. Always keep your ribbon scraps. And if you wanna be extra like me, you're gonna wanna color coordinate those because you just never know. In the top of my balloon holder, you guys, I'm going to loop my ribbon just like this, because you want it to stay put. Why? Because this is gonna become an Easter egg holder as soon as my glue gun heats up. You know, I was Johnny on the spot for this video. I was like, you know what, I got this whole idea. I'm gonna quick show you guys said idea. Turned on my glue gun, turned on my camera, and she's not hot yet. It's because I moved too fast, you guys. Well. Side note. See that, you guys? That's a microphone. Talk about feeling legit. I feel important. Now you guys can hear everything that I have to say. Also, yes, this is my real voice. I yell because I'm excited and the accent is Minnesotan. Now you know. You're gonna take your hot glue, you guys, and you're going to stick a little bit of it on the top of your balloon holder, just like so. Then you're gonna take an egg. This is a plastic egg, by the way. I wouldn't recommend a real egg. Place it right on top, just like that. Hold it for a hot second because you want this to stay put. She's not going anywhere. Scissors. Always be prepared, you guys. Seriously. Take your ribbon and you're going to tie it in a bow. This step is completely optional, but as you watch my videos, you guys are gonna learn very, very fast that all of these optional steps, when executed properly, is gonna make all of your projects a little bit more extra. You are gonna look like an overachiever. Do you see that? Look at how cute that is, you guys. Let's make a couple more. You need some pink ribbon because I'm going to put together a pink egg situation. There's no right or wrong here. You guys can do whatever colors you want. You can coordinate to your heart's content. Content? Consent? Your heart's consent? I don't know. I think it all means the same thing, to be honest with you. Cute. You see how cute this is? We're gonna make a couple more just to be sure that the key factor is significant. Blue. If you guys have seen me whip these up before, congratulations. That means that you've been watching me for a full year. And if you're new here, you can either excitedly let me know in comments, I'm new and I love this video, or you can pretend that you've been here the whole time. You know what, we're all friends here, you guys. I'm just so excited that you're here. Sharing ideas with you is honestly one of my favorite things. I am so grateful that I get to do this every single day. I have glue everywhere, what the heck? I get excited, I get excited, I move too fast. If you let your glue dry before you move fast, I mean, it's probably gonna benefit you guys. You won't have a mess of an egg. Cute. Okay, we're gonna do one more, you guys. We'll do purple. Purple is fun. Purple's a fun color. A little bit of a purple ribbon, just like this. These little Easter egg situations that I'm whipping up, you guys, are perfect for so many things. You can add these to your Easter baskets. Last year, I bought my friend this little coffee mug with a chicken on it. I love chickens, you guys, seriously. I filled it with that florist foam. I stuck some of these little egg situations in there with some flowers. It was darling. See that? Okay, we've got our eggs. We've got a clean area. Do you guys have anxiety yet? You shouldn't have anxiety, you guys. It's gonna be fine. I clean everything up, don't worry about it. But these little plastic eggs, you guys, you can fill these up with whatever you want. You can do candy, money, you can do stickers, little trinkets, whatever you think your recipient would like. 
for example now. And then you can use them however you want. I have these little flowers right here, you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of trim off the bottom so that it's the right length. This is just adding a little bit of an Easter vibe to your situation. Honestly, you guys, look at how cute this is. Centerpieces, Easter baskets, gifts, teacher gifts. How cute would it be to put a little piece of flowers together for your teacher, throw a couple eggs in there with some surprises? Here's the deal, I'm just here to make your lives easier. You're welcome.